in a year that has been universally challenging for everyone. I'm inspired by the stories of compassion in our communities. Across the country, people have put their own needs aside to come together and support the collective well being of those around them. Back in March, the COVID 19 crisis hit hard, and overnight, everything seemed to change. For many families, the impact of the pandemic has been catastrophic, and far too many were faced with a heartbreaking question How am I going to put food on the table for my family? But in the face of this devastating reality, we also saw the power of the human spirit and the remarkable ways that communities respond in challenging times. We saw the good in people, in our neighbors, and in entire communities coming together to say they would not stand by while our neighbors went hungry. We saw communities standing up and taking action. When kids' lunch programs came to a halt, we saw our neighbors make sure that those children receive the nutrition they need. And when those who are immunocompromised or most vulnerable couldn't leave their homes, we as a community showed up to deliver the food they needed to their doorsteps. We know the value of food as nourishment, as a life source. And in moments of crisis, the warmth of a meal can feel as comforting as a much needed hug, especially in the absence of human contact due to the social distancing we're all experiencing. These moments reminded so many that they're cared for. Tonight, we are celebrating these quiet heroes, some of whom I know and others that we applaud from afar. These individuals stood up and made sure the most basic needs of our communities were met. They made sure that those around them did not have to suffer in isolation. They nourished their neighbors in more ways than one. And they showed us all of us, that even in the darkest times, when we come together, we have the power to remind someone else that there is hope and that we will be okay.